Hi, Louise Bailey here at Cute Neek Studio. Um, another uh, walkthrough of a, a journal I made. And uh, this is another paper bag journal. Now I did a tutorial as I was making this one. I will post it uh, later, you know, separately. Uh, but this will be like the third paper bag journal that I made. And uh, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna make a tutorial and somebody asked me to as well. So here we go. Um, this cover, once upon a time used to be a Swiss Miss Cocoa hot chocolate box. So I cut the box down and turned it into this pretty cover. Just showing you what you can do with junk laying around. And uh, so um, I kept this inside of the cover rather kind of plain so that it's a nice break between this busy outside and then this is busy inside. It's just, I think it does really well being plain on that. So this is uh, this made of three signatures of paper bags. Some of my other paper bag journals I did a little bit differently. And this one I actually turned into signatures. So there's three signatures, two paper bags each. So six paper bags make up that journal. All right, so let's walk through it. Um, this little paper clip my friend Sandy in Wales had sent me. I have pen piles and we exchange things. And she had sent this to me, so um, I'm so excited that it gets to be used in this journal. And I should have prefaced this and let you know that the theme I went with with this journal is naturalist. So it's all nature-based. So that's why you're seeing lots of nature, nature, nature. Okay? And that fit really well. So you're going to see, you know, flowers, butterflies, birds, you name it. I made this um, envelope out of some... National Geographic paper. Uh, you've seen me use this in some of my other journals where you take the National Geographic paper and you spritz it with Citrusolve, then you smash the, the, the magazine together, leave it for about 30 minutes, and when you peel apart the pages, it blurs, you know, smears all the ink, and it turns it into these really neat patterns. So I turned it into an envelope for this journal, and then I stamped these papers, these are hand dyed papers that I dyed. Sometimes I buy papers off of Etsy because I just think people do such a good job with some of the colors. But this paper I actually made. And it, I love the way it turned out with the um, kind of tattered, tattered edges already. Um, so I really love this. So the whole theme I'm going with is, you know, it's somebody who uh, travels around the globe studying nature, which I would love to do that. I write about nature, though. And I've been some places around the globe. Um, so I can relate to this. And there's a belly band out of some lace. Now, my paper bags, I cut some of the tops, and then some of them will have side pockets. Um, I made this postcard using, you know, I have like a big case of these plain postcards and then I decorate them up. So this was some napkin and some stickers, washi tape, um, book page, stickers. So that is, pardon my grungy closer, it's winter right now. I just got finished from feeding the ducks and chickens putting them away for the night. Some of my grungies. Okay, put that on there. I love that. I just love the way that looks. And that was, um, you know, this, this cheap paper came in one of those, like, uh, sewing kits. You know, they put the cheapest tape measure in those portable ones. This fell out of a book that I have. Oh, look, this all fell out of that book. This part, this was just part of a, a book. It literally fell apart. So, you know, when books fall apart, I salvage what I can. Um, I wasn't holding it very properly when I took it out, but that was already in there. Um, you know, this was all just, it's just part of this book and it just, and you can see how tattered it is and just literally just fell out. So I added this part here and then added, um, you know, decorated that side of it only. And then I added my friend Silvana made that little thing for me and sent it to me. It's really nice. And then some bits and bobs that I had. That goes really nicely being tucked away in a traveling naturalist's 
little journal. And then I decorated that up in this little um, paper clip with some fibers. So it goes in there. This was some designer paper that I cut and folded down like that. Oh, my friend Silvana sent me that as well. A little duck stamp. Um, I made these. So this was a tag I made out of, you know, I just cut the paper out, but I, um, this was a greeting card. Actually, I think I just cut the whole thing out of the greeting card. That was a greeting card and I cut that part out with the ducks. Graceful. And then this was just a plain white business envelope. You know, you get them in a huge box. And uh, I um, aged it up and I stamped and colored that in and you know, I could actually use this if I want to and send a letter. I might do that too because I, I kind of like that. I like doing fun things like that. That was some napkin I put on there. And uh, some papers. I had some pretty papers and I decorated them all up to kind of go like look like some stationery that matches. I could see a naturalist, you know using stationery like that to write some field notes on or whatever. You know, some important information. So we're going to put this in like that. So you can see the pretty side. And that in there like that. Voila! Okay, and then this has a top pocket. And this is, um, these were some old educational cards like a deck of cards my kids had when they were teeny teeny weeny and they've stopped using them so i have the whole deck and uh, i decorated this up with some you know some just bits of fabric and stuff so we're gonna you know, travel or study owls and then this was a greeting card that i ripped that part out that was the only piece in it that was actually really nice and i decorated it that and, um, oh, that's actually another pocket. So this is a double pocket. So I put that other greeting card in there. So it's a double pocket. This was some paper I made using one of those, um, the Sizic machine with the embosser thing folder. I rolled it in there. And then, um, this is some avocado paper that I dyed. And then after it came out, then I kind of brushed over it with some ink to you got to study spiders too, you know. Poor spiders get such a bad rap. But they're like actually key, key critter for our um, ecosystems. Um, I sewed this little charm on there. And then I put these little stamps. And this was a time card. And um, pop it out. A little matchbook. So you pop it out, and then there's some station, some hand dyed paper that I dyed. So I made those papers. This is actually stapled with a, um, this little gadget here. You know, I don't know about you, but you know, you see people using these gadgets online. You're like, I've got to have that. <laughs> and I do save up. I don't get it all at once. I, you know, I really wait and save up. And uh, my business is uh, my books that get sold on Amazon. Um, I get points, and they give me free dollars to spend on Amazon. So I actually wind up not paying any money for them. All these little things I get. I use my points. And this is really cool. I never would have thought I needed this tiny little stapler, but it's awesome. So, and I swear I'm not product plugging for Tim Holtz. I mean, most of us have Tim Holtz, this or that, in our stuff. So, Okay. This was some stationery I had, and um, I just dressed it up with some mushrooms and butterfly. Put this little, little sticker thing there, and this I turned. So it's a greeting card. I, I put these um, lines in here, you know, stamped those lines in there for writing. But then I, I put it in here like a pocket, and there's another one of these cards, a little woodpecker. So cute. So you can use that as a bookmark, and then decorated it up with some bits and bobs and this is a side pocket so let's see what I have in there pretty oh I made some stationery so this was like from a magazine actually I have and I wash you tape that in there and um, so you have lots of writing space and there's a little a little poem so that's in the side pocket 
I love pocket journal or paper bag journals because it makes little pockets and you can just tuck lots of neat little things, little treasures inside. I made this out of a index card, just a plain old white index card, and I spritzed it up with some mica sprays, and then I put this book page here that I ran through my, not ran through, but I decorated up with that, what's that thing called? Jelly plate. And these are some ledger papers I cut up to put in here. So you've got places to journal, and there's a pocket in here. So... And that's a vintage card. I collect all these things from estate sales, which is nice. So there we go. Um, and then yeah, I'll put some sparkle on that. This is a bit colorful. Collage that over there. And you can journal in the back of that. So a nice little tag, the bird theme. Um, oh, here we got a side pocket here, and I just put some, you know, just some plain old paper in there because you need places to just journal. This, uh, you know, Tuesday morning has all these little paper pads, like little notepads, and they have a magnet. They're, they they close shut with a magnet. I took that part off, and I left so there's a magnet there, and then here's the metal part, so it clips that. It's kind of nice. And this was a postcard that came in some stuff that my friend gave me. She, I mean, she already glued this little vintage button and ribbon. And it just, you know, makes it seem like it has a story to it. So that's nice. And then it just clips. Voila. Uh, one of my pen pals sent me this envelope. Uh, I cannot remember who. I've had pen pals for a few years now. Um, so thank you, whoever sent this to me. I save it all and I use it all. And I remember a lot of them. But I don't remember that one. And this is just some paper from that notepad from Tuesday morning. So you have places to journal there. And these are fun coin envelopes, I guess they call them. Maybe. And um, there we go. And then I put some stationery, little birds, just a few sheets of it. Oh, wait, there's a different one here. It's got butterfly. It folds out. So, traveling naturalist has plenty of places to write notes and stuff. And then I, you know, I collage, the, I decoupage with the napkin. I glued this little flower on there and I left it um, like a little pocket. Look at that. It's nice. And we have a top. Let's see what's in here. Another vintage card. Oh, that's so sweet. Does it say what those little birds are? What are they? Sandpipers? I'm not sure. They're on the beach. It's really nice. Belongs in here. They have a nice little home. Okay. And then I glued this down here, or taped it down there, and I left it like a little pocket. And there's a little feather. And then my feathers come from, I think it's called Moonlight Feathers. And it's a, it's a humane feather company. They own a big, huge bird sanctuary. So they take in birds and the natural, the, the feathers that just naturally fall, they, you know, they gather them up and sell them off. So it helps pay for them to run the sanctuary, which is nice because, um, and you can run on the back of that because where those crafty, colorful, crafty feathers and stuff at the craft stores come from is not always really nice. This fabric Somebody has sent me loads of this fabric. It's really nice. So I took that off of there, glued it in. And this was from a, a piece I snipped off from um, like a shirt or something like that. And then these bits here, you can write on the backs of those. So that's more pockets. And this was some stationery, another woodpecker. I think I got it. It's like a big box of it I got from Barnes & Noble. They have discount bins. A few, like, probably two or three times, maybe even four times a year. They will put a lot of stuff in these discount bins down to 90% off. So you want to pay pennies for this stuff. Alright, I'll wash you take that in there. So you have plenty of places to journal. Uh, this is a greeting card that I 
my fingernails. Okay, so this was a greeting card that I, I tore that picture out and gave it a rough edge. Decoupage behind it. And glue this on here. Um, so this is some vintage stationery. And this is some vintage stationery. So you have lots of places to journal and things, places to write. And then this you can run on the backs of these. So these are library cards and I've got bird craft. So they would have checked out and um, hopefully they're going to return these books. Uh, Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman, which seemed perfect for this. And then here, and gen Tears of Gentle Longing, Thou Wilt Weep. So it really will look well with Walt Whitman, Wilt Weep. You know, it's got a nice little poetic rhyme to it. So here I put this big piece of paper there. Um, I washi tape that in. It's really fun. So it's lovely. And then in here is a um, stationery. I have um, a little deck of this. So if you have to write important dates, the matches, you know, you can write on the back of that as well. Lots of nature hidden throughout this whole journal. There's another one. That was a uh, card came from my friend. Small bird flew before me. This is another vintage postcard. This one actually you can use. It's really neat. What's that? 70s, 60s? Really nice. Decorated up. What's in here? Oh, I made this. This was just some plain old paper I had. So I decoupaged it. And it is a beautiful crown because this little bird here is wearing a crown. And then you can journal there and there. More places to journal. This is um, the flowers, botany. And then I just, you know, decorated that up. And this little paper clip holds that in there. And this is the last signature. So this is some stationery I made with a little nature theme. The little red mushrooms. It looks so nice. Friends forever happy. Happy friends forever. I'll do it that way. Um, yeah, I just layered. I like to do some dimensional type belly bands, pockets, you know. So I just layered a bunch of different things there. And, um, oh, got a pocket up here. And there's a postcard from Looking Down Jacob's Ladder Trail, Massachusetts. So you can journal on the back of that. And... Oh, that's a pocket. I'm trying to open it. Oh, it's a belly band. So I did this belly band. See, this is a surprise to me. I put so much work into it. I'm seeing it for the first time, it seems like. Um, so it's a belly band, but then I made this paper clip. So this is a paper clip I made. Ta-da! And that's a tag I made. You can journal on the back of that if you need to. And um, oh, so it clips in there like that. And then it clips on that belly band. But then I made this stationery using some paper that just looked perfect. You know, it's designer paper, but it is absolutely perfect. And then, voila, you can journal in there. Nice. So we put that in there. And then we clip that back there. You can put anything anywhere though. You know, whoever winds up with this journal, I'm still not sure. I just make them for fun. Can do whatever they like. All right. So here's another. Uh, this was a card. And I made it into a pocket. Oops. I need to glue that down a little bit better. I live beneath the open sky seem perfect and then there's some bits and bobs that seems good for a traveling naturalist especially these mushrooms huh although I'm gonna put them in the back so you kind of have like the waterfall scattered there oh we have something in here I made this as well this was a calendar I think I think it was a calendar uh, pictures from a calendar and then I punched these circles out and attached them with the fastener and uh, it is. It's from a calendar. And then um, an old calendar. I saved it up. I saved everything. And this is some paper that I dyed. 
that I use my little Tim Holtz tiny stapler. And I put this paper in here. So this is like a little extra place for the traveling naturalist to journal. It's really nice. I'll do one more turn. I don't want to do too many because it's kind of frustrating when you're opening those and you're like, okay, when does it end? That's really nice. And, oh, this is really neat. So, um, and so the adventure begins. So you have a pocket here and I made this envelope using some more of that paper, you know, the geographic, National Geographic paper. And I made this stationery that goes in it. So I, I rubber stamped and washi taped and you can write on the backs. So that's really nice, kind of grungy. I like that. And then I decoupage that napkin over it, just to kind of break it up a little bit. And um, so that's in there, like that. But this is kind of nifty. You can untie this. And I was out of, um, what do you call those things, grommets. I've ordered some, so I'm gonna finish this up with some grommets, but this opens up a little folder. And this is some eco dyed paper that um, my friend Stella, she uh, turned it into some printable digitals. So I bought those from her and I printed them out and then I cut it into the folder. And then I, de I decoupaged on the other side of the folder. And then I made this stationery to go inside. They all have this kind of neat, grungy, kind of muted tone and you can write on the backs of those and those go in there a nifty little folder and then you just tie it with this lovely hand dyed ribbon which is just perfect you just tie it off so it secures it in there which is kind of you know it's nice it gives it some funness and this is a what do you call that stuff baker's twine and I had a dickens of a time getting it in there, but I used tweezers. So I poked it in there and pulled it up with the tweezers and I decoupaged that. And then I made this little journal. This is an envelope, a folded envelope. So you fold, you take an envelope. So this would have been um, just a regular envelope. And oh, here you go. This is the envelope here. So this is like an envelope. You fold it in half that way and it makes, it turns it into natural pockets. And then I made the, you know, I decorated it up. And put these are playing cards I got um, from estate sales. So I poked those in there, and then I, I put some little papers you can journal on that I decorated, collaged. This is some. Um, it was a post-it note paper, and it fit perfect on there, and it's just a perfect color for it too. And then I, I snipped the top, so this has a little tag. You can write on the back of that. It's another little hidden secret spot. And why won't it go in there? Oh, because there's more stuff in there. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no, there's not. It's because I, I'm trying to put it in there the wrong way. I, you know, I never have problems until I'm doing my video. <laughs> and then this is some fabric. This was like a, a fabric swatch. Find your loveliness. And then I've got an ancient Gaelic melody. And I put that there because it talks about ravens, bats, owls, crows, birds, lark, fox, wolf. Yeah. So that is that. Let me move this over here before I ruin it. There we go. And then um, I put that like that so you can secure it by tying this part in. And these are the only two I did like that because you wouldn't want to be sitting here trying to untie throughout the whole journal. But these two I thought were fun. But why not make it fun? There we go. Okay, and do we look what's in here already? Did I pull that out? I didn't. Noted English women in literature. And I just put that in there because, um, you know, our traveler is a female. 
That's why she has this really cool journal. And she probably wanted to have that in there. So this is some, you know, coffee dyed graph paper. And I put it in there so it folds out like this. So you can journal here and here. And then it folds up and then I, um, you can journal here. And then that's decorated. This is poetry. Another one of the uh, index cards that I did. It matches the other one back there. So I did the same thing here. And then I put the uh, ledger paper. And I have some stationery I made. Here, this was actually a, a book page from a, you know, I get old dictionaries that are outdated. And uh, I sewed it on here. This was just some, got some, just some paper. It's got my address in the back. Um, and then this was some paper I just, I ripped up and turned into some stationery. And there's three sheets actually. So that goes in there. And, you know, it's got the bird on it. So it fits with the naturalist. Um, hmm. And the the goal was to try to make it look like um you know like wood or you know it looks like like somebody ripped off a piece of bark or something. So that goes off there. And then we have something in here. <gasps> More stuff. A little greeting card. That won't um a ding dong, we can't open it. <laughs> but I love the picture on that it's just probably just a little greeting card and this was some page a page you know in a uh, book has the paper in the beginning and the end that was on there it was this book that was falling apart and it's already naturally weathered so I saved this piece of paper I think I have two and I thought this is really nice it's going to go in here so it has a home now instead of just sitting in my stuff and the last page, be brave, stay strong. And I made a double pocket using some vellum paper. So uh, this is vellum paper here. And then behind it is some pretty magazine paper. So that's one pocket, two pockets. I know that's, I'm, I'm a ding dong, sorry. That's one pocket and that's the two pockets there. So the second pocket is here and I made this tag. I'll put a little spot on there. And then I put the lawn so you could drill in the back of that. These make nice bookmarks. So if you know, start using this thing and you need to bookmark a page, you can move that anywhere. And that's it. But I think it's awesome. And I did a tutorial. And in the tutorial, you know, you, I think I did pretty good with it. There was a few places where I was chit-chatting and did the opposite of what I said to do, but uh, overall, I think I did a good job showing you how you can make your own paper bag journal. And uh, so that is it for now. Oh, I should have told you that's a hidden, uh, no, it's not a hidden spine. So this one, one of my other videos, it shows you where I sew it directly into the spine. Um, or sorry, I sew it into a hidden spine. So I sew it into a piece of cardboard and then I glue that cardboard in here so you don't see the... What I did here was I sewed it directly into the cover. Those signatures are sewed directly in here, but you don't see that because I covered it with all this embellishment. So it is hidden, so to speak, but um, only because I hit it with all that stuff. So there you go. That's my uh, other paper bag journal and I hope you liked it. Bye for now.